Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm Sushi Mushi, and today I'm gonna be doing a tutorial on how to use Cinema 4D to create GFX. I did create a tutorial on this a long time ago, like nine months ago, but I wanna remake it and make it more smooth and cleaner, and yeah. If this video does end up helping you out, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and comment down below more video ideas for me to create. The first thing you wanna do is go onto your Roblox tab and then go on the top of your screen and click create. Once you've done that, you can either edit a game you don't really care about or create a new one. I already have one designated to GFX, so I'm gonna use that one and click edit. After it loads in, you should see the screen and then you should go to plugins on the top of your screen and go to your load character plugin. If you do not have it, go into your plugins area in your toolbox, which you can get by going into view and clicking toolbox right over there. Go into plugins and then search up load character. You can get this for free. Do not get the 35 robux one, it's pointless if you can get the free one. And then install it, then after that you should see it on your plugins tab. So then click it and then find out whose avatar you're gonna use. I'm gonna use my own. So the Sushi Mushi. Make sure to spawn at origin just like so and then click spawn R6. Here it is and then on your explorer tab, which by the way you can get by clicking view and clicking explorer, you're gonna right click this, go to export selection and export it into your computer somewhere in a folder you want it to be in. Once you do that, open up C4D. So here I am in C4D and I'm gonna open up my Lightroom. If you want the Lightroom, it'll be in the description, first link. To open up the LR, you have to go to File, Open, and then I have it saved into this rig folder, and then main LRs, Lightroom. That's just my folder, it might be different for you. You probably have it in your downloads folder if you just downloaded it. And then this should pop up. Then you're gonna click File, Open. Then you wanna open up your rig, which will also be in the description. Then you're gonna double click that. And boom this should pop up so it is backwards so what you want to do is go down to rotation go to the first one on top and make it 180. now it's facing you now obviously i don't think you want this soldier texture i think you want the one you originally exploited on roblox studio so to change it go down below and click textures i mean go to your textures then double click this one right over here make sure in the color tab click these three dots and then go to the folder you saved your texture in so i saved mine and it is named the sushi mushi right over here then click yes boom now if you click exit you should see it and then delete this little hat so all you have to do is tap it and click delete on your keyboard and you can also delete that texture down below the next thing you want to do is go into file merge the same folder you had it exported in from roblox studio and i named mine the sushi mushi c4d tutorial so i'm going to double click it and now do these exact same settings right over here. Make scale 100, fong, angle, zero. All these settings make it identical. So here it is, and you wanna delete the arms, leg, and torso, and also the head, just like so. And then you can also test if you deleted everything by selecting it over here, and then moving it. And to move it, all you have to do is go up here, click these little arrows, make sure you're still selecting it, and move it around. Now clearly the texture is messed up because my hair wasn't that white, it was actually black. So you're gonna double click this, click the three dots and then find the texture once again over here then click yes you also want to get rid of alpha so click that and make the check mark disappear so i only had one texture but usually i'll have more textures if i have more accessories which i did not so if you do have more accessories you want to repeat that same process and yeah now you want to go to editor and click default no scaling and same with any other textures that you had. After you do that, you're gonna go up here, click this plus button, it's really small, but you can see it. Now you wanna hold shift, click the top texture, and then click the bottom one so it's all selected. Then right click and click connect objects plus delete. Now move it under head attachments, not like this, but you want the arrow to be facing down, like right like that. So in case you're confused of what you just did, what you did was you connected your accessories to your head attachments, which means it's connected to the rig now. So if you were to move your head, like so it would also move the accessories pose all you have to do is click one of the green rig parts and then you can either rotate it like so by clicking this button right over here you can scale it which you shouldn't really do and you can also move it just like this so the main thing you want to do is rotations and once again to do that click rotations and then these will pop up these help you rotate it around different directions and when I have no idea for poses, I go with the simple pose that I do for like every single GFX. And you probably already know what it is, because if you've seen my GFX, I'm sure you already know. Three, two, one. Yeah, that pose. So to do this famous pose, all you have to do is... what I, I haven't done it in a while, but what you want to do is click the top rig on the arm. 
Then go with the green and move it sideways. Then I go on the, I go on the red one and move it up. Then click the bottom rig part and get the red again and move it up. Pretty easy and then just make it look better. And then I do the torso. So select the torso and then move the blue sideways like that. Mess with the red a little bit to make it go backwards more. Green a little bit, more blue. It's very simple, just make it look good. It takes some tries, I don't wanna go bend it too much now. Now with the other arm, do the same thing you did on the other arm. So move it sideways, up, bottom one, up. So after moving it around for a bit, you should get to this point and it's not the best, but I haven't done this pose in a while and you know, I'm bad right now. So what you want to do after that is move your head a little bit because you don't want it so stiff and straight looking. You want it to be rotated just a bit. Some people like go over here. Like I don't suggest doing that. I would just move it a bit sideways, turn it around, make it look somewhere else. Just not too far away. Something like that would be good. Now after you do that, you want to move your legs now because it's really stiff and you don't want it stiff. You want it to look more natural if that makes sense. So you're going to get the top rig part on this leg and move it back a little bit. Move it sideways more and then move the green just a bit like that if you want you can also move the bottom rig part i do it sometimes sometimes it doesn't look too good sometimes it looks fine and you're pretty much done if you want to move your angle around oh yeah totally forgot i forgot to teach you guys how to move so to move around on c4d you really don't need to too much with like fashion gfx but to move all you have to do is go on the top right over here this one moves like where you're at this one goes forward and backward this one rotates you, and then this one shows you all the different perspective tabs, thingies, I don't know, I never touch it. Um, so I'm gonna go back into that, and I'm gonna rotate it just a bit to see how it looks from all different types of angles. Might move the head a little bit. So that seems okay, and once you do that, you can see how it looks rendered, and it's really fast on C4D compared to Blender. So all you have to do is go up here, click this right over here, and after your computer fan goes wild for a second, you should see this. It looks fine, I'm not gonna do too much because it's just a tutorial, I'm not gonna do it for like a commission or something so yeah i like how it looks so before you actually render it into your actual computer you're gonna go over here to render settings go to save and then you want to keep you want to click this file button click the three dots and then save it into a folder so i'm gonna name it c4d tutorial then you want to make sure it's on png just have all these settings 16-bit channel name blah blah all of this alpha channel 8-bit gathering all that now let's exit out and start rendering all you have to do is click exit and then click this button right over here tap it and it should take just a second to render and then boom you're done and it's also saved onto your computer and that's all you have to do when it comes to creating gfx on cinema 40 it's really simple and i'm not going to do an editing portion of this video because i made many tutorials on that before you can go check those out down below in the description and yeah if this video did help you, remember to leave a like, subscribe, comment down below more video ideas, and join my Discord server. Anyways, peace out, see you in the next one.